Yeah. Okay, so according to this book, Jesus is claiming to be God. So you don't believe in this book, okay? That's fine. According to Quran, Muhammad identifies this book as the word of God. We don't, we don't. According to Quran, you no, said no, you are no, Muslim. No, no, not according to the Quran. Okay. Explain this to me. First, we make a case regarding the Muhammad's view and Allah's view on the Bible. And then after that, I will make a case according to even according to Quran, Jesus is God. We didn't accept that book too. That's not the Bible. So, so show what, what, Bible, what Bible, what Bible, what Bible, what Bible, what Bible this, this verse is talking about. It's, you know, it's a slave religion. Listen, listen, my question. Listen, yes, my, listen, my question. Now. Listen, my question. Listen, my question. Say, all people of the scripture, you are standing on nothing until you uphold the Torah, the gospel, what has been revealed to you from your Lord. So, according to that verse, does it say gospel has been corrupted, Torah has been corrupted? Or it says, it says you have nothing else to trust in if you get rid of the Bible. The Quran may be say that, but this is not the word. This is not, this is not the Injil that the Quran is referring to. So, which, what is the Injil that the Quran is exist. referring to? It doesn't exist at all. So, what happened to that Angel which was existing? It's just like the rest of the books. So, what? Been no, 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 when? When? The true word, true of them. No, listen my question. Listen my I'm question. Saying. I need you to listen my question. Yeah. So what happened to book which the Quran is talking about it? These books disappeared. All when? Of Otherwise when? it would be a need. When? 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 We, don't know, we don't know that. Before Muhammad, after Muhammad? Obviously before. Obviously before. Okay. So if it is before, why Allah is saying you, you've got nothing else to, uh, uh, nothing else to stand on? Until you uphold the gospel, I if it is before that. The people, I read, I read, I read, I people of the scripture, you stand on your feet. You God. You uphold the Lord. Why do you forgive my sin? So if it is before I Muhammad, why does Allah say that? I'm going to cover Jesus who appeared. As I said here this afternoon, I proclaim to you, I recommend to you Jesus Christ, the Savior of the so universe. So if it is before Muhammad, why do you have this verse here? So if it is before Muhammad, this verse shouldn't be there. Okay? If it and then tell me about this verse. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they found, what they have of the Torah and the gospel. Okay? So if according to this verse, Muhammad is in the Bible. Okay? Bible is talking about Muhammad according to this verse. Correct? Correct? So, if the Bible is corrupted before Muhammad, why Allah is telling people go and check the Bible to find Muhammad written in it? That is not, this, this so, is not God's, uh, no, no. this is definitely not God's word, that, that Bible so, you got, no, 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 no. is 100% so, not God's word. So that, no, in that case you need to tell me, you need to tell me why Allah says that Muhammad is in the Bible, why Allah says you've got nothing else to stand upon if you, you know don't have a gospel. You know that version of Quran you got there, there's different translations. Okay, well, what there's is the real translation? Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Do you read Arabic and understand Arabic? Some of it, yeah. Okay. Finally, what is the translation supposed to be? I have to go and look on the phone and have a look. No, check check it. That's okay. Check. Take your time. Because the claim you made is a serious claim and needs to be backed up. So, can you check and then tell me what the translation is supposed to be? to me that it's God's word. That's definitely not God's word. So, first... That is not the engineer. So, so far, so far, John no, listen to me, listen, others, to, listen yeah. to me. According to Quran, yeah. Bible is the word of God, okay? No, not this one. And, uh, so there is no, not this one. No, 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 so you need, to, you need to explain, listen to me. No, you need to listen to me. Now, yeah. Like, don't, don't cry now. We were having good conversation before. We had a good conversation before, now you are crying. It, no, no, don't no, do that, you, don't do that. So, the book... Which Muhammad is supposed to be in it, yeah. okay, in 7th century, because he says that, who oh, go, they've got the book and Muhammad is in it. In 7th century, they, they can, they've got nothing to stand on this, they've got nothing to stand on unless they have the gospel. So, 
what is that in seventh century? This is the day it is in the ah, end of ah, hand of Muhammad in Surah five, verse forty three. Muhammad puts his hand or forty eight. Muhammad puts his, him, his hand on the Torah and then says, "This is the book I believe in." So that means Surah five, verse forty eight. So when you read the Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir gives you the background of the verse, and in the background of the verse, Muhammad takes the cushion um, and then play, puts, the, puts the Torah there, and then says, this is the book, I believe in it. So in 7th century, the Bible, which people had, which surah, so listen to me now, which people had, and the Bible, which in 7th century, tells points Muslims to go and then find that Bible and then find Muhammad in it, is the Bible we have in our possession today. If that is not the case, you need to bring me something discredits that. I would like to bring something to you. That was so complicated. Well, Muslim, Muslim takes other Muslim away. They, he doesn't want him to talk to me. But the bottom line is this: so Quran identifies Quran identifies in Surah three Bible as the word of God. Quran expresses that Muhammad is in the Bible. Quran expresses Christians have got nothing else to stand on unless they have the gospel so according to quran that bible is the reliable word of god and remember surah 2 surah 2 3 5 again and again states that actually quran comes to confirm the bible it doesn't express any corruption or anything so muslims express as i read john chapter 10 that if if it, statement is um that we read um, Jesus is the one who gives eternal life. According to that verse, Jesus is God, according to Muslim. So, if Jesus is God, and if the Quran confirms the Bible, Muslims have to act on it. But we cannot continue our conversation because other Mr. Muslims don't want um, another Mr. Muslim to talk to me. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who gives eternal life. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who reconciles us to our trying God. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who offers us place in the bosom of the Father. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who silences us with his love. It is only Lord Jesus Christ who is identified as full of grace. So turn to him in repentance and he will have you and he will make you.